Good morning, every good morning, everyone. I uh, my sauce went most of the night. I turned it off in the middle of the night. It's still hot though. I'm going to be cooking sausage. I'm going to take these out of the casing, and I'm going to cook this up with ground beef that I have here. Okay, it all came right out of the casing. I'm going to add the ground beef. This is the sausage. I'm going to add the ground beef. I'm just going to cook this up together. I'm going to add some spices to this too. Just a little bit of garlic. Huh? I'll be back when I get all this cooked. It's all mixed together, cooking up real good. Okay guys, as our meat is almost done, we're gonna make Bruce's lunch and a couple extra so we gotta get ahead of ourselves. I have leftover roast beef from Arby's roast beef sandwiches yesterday and I'm just going to make the rest of these buns up I'm pretty sure he'll grab one for lunch and then grab then he'll bring another one to work I'm feeling so rushed and I just got to slow down. Yeah. I'm thinking I gotta do this. I gotta do that. I gotta do this. I gotta clean my house up a bit. Let's rush, rush, rush. My mind's going in 50 directions. <laughs> yeah. We'll get it all done. Yeah, I'm doing laundry. Yeah, I'm thinking I gotta do this. I gotta do that. I gotta do this. Ah, oh, jeez. And I'm like, oh, I gotta make this lunch. Darn it. Yeah. Rome was not built in a day, Michelle. Roll your butt down, right? Gonna be a good roast beef sandwich today. <sighs> Tired already. <laughs> and my day has just begun. Yeah. It'll be all worth it in the end.
looks good enough, eh? Now oh, we've got lots of roast beef in here. Guess I should have had you a little lower, eh? Mustard done. Cheese. I love these cheese packs from Costco. So much easier. Oh, there's a spider. What are you doing? Ah. It's one of those jumpy spiders. Thinking that I was just thinking the other day. I haven't seen many spiders or ants, and then next thing I know it I have an ant on my leg. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. We're gonna do this. I'm hungry now. I'm going to eat the, uh, the leftover, uh, what do you call those? Spiral fries leftover from yesterday. Oh, I'm going to be happy with these sandwiches today. Okay, I'm gonna put my I'm gonna put my crock pot on low again for a few hours while I put this meat in it. And uh, I would love to make lasagna today, but I don't have any lasagna noodles. It would be perfect to make that and get that in the freezer. And uh, oh. I need my own car. Let this meat soak through the sauce so it can all get absorbed. I am making uh, freezer pizzas today. 
so I might keep a little bit of this to put on on one pizza. I have a ground beef and sausage pizza. Let me get a container to put that in. I'm doing pepperoni and we got peppers from our garden to put on the pizza and bacon. I'm going to cook the bacon up in this frying pan once I have some lunch. That should be good for the pizza. I'll do one, one pizza with this. I'll show you because you're all doing it with me. Putting you all to work. There's only a little bit of grease in here, so I'm not worrying too much about it. Heating up my lunch. Okay, I'm going to keep this to cook the bacon in. Look at that, you guys. It's going to be a nice meat sauce. Okay. Time for lunch. And I got it on low. Slow and slow. Okay, I'm adding Parmesan to my sauce. I'm going to use this first batch of, oh, shoot, first batch of uh, sauce for my lasagna. I'm going to go get my lasagna noodles tomorrow. I'll just keep this sauce in the fridge. Excuse me. <coughs> and then I'll work making my lasagna for the freezer with this sauce. Ooh, it looks so good. Oh, I grow. It looks good. All that. I turned the slow cooker off. All that cheese, Parmesan cheese will go through the sauce. Ooh, I can't wait to try it. Yeah. <laughs> I added about a cup and a half of the Parmesan. It's going to be good sauce for the lasagna tomorrow. Okay, guys. Now I'm going to be making my... Pizza freezer. <laughs> my freezer pizza. <laughs> pizza for the freezer. Okay, so I've doubled my recipe. I'm going to mix up this dough. We're going to let it sit to rise. And then we're going to go out and see the girls. Nate's out there. He's going to put some uh, wood chips in their run. So I've got my yeast in here. And I've let it sit for 10 minutes. So then we're going to add... My yeast, my sugar, and my water. That's all in there. So now we're going to add, uh, well, I'm doubling the recipe. So five cups of flour. I would make my pizza uh, uh, sauce 
But I don't know if Nate would like it, though. He's used to what he likes. And he doesn't like change at all. He doesn't like things changed. So, yeah. So that's two. Four. I'm going to do a little extra. I'm going to do almost six. Five and a, five and a little extra. Okay. I'm going to double. Everything's double, so even the salt. So I'm going to do two teaspoons of salt. One. Two. And then two tablespoons of olive oil. So I'm going to do four. One, two, three, four. That's it. We mix it up. If it's like that and it's sticking and it's not coming uh, into a ball, then add a little more flour, a little bit at a time. there. So basically I could have added six cups. a little sticky. Now a little bit more flour. Depends on the weather, I guess. That'll be enough. Coming together now. After a while, you get to know it. Eh? You just eyeball it. When your sides are clean in your mixer, the bowl, when the sides are clean, just like that. It's perfect. Okay, take this off. Add a little olive oil to the sides into my hands. I'm going to put it in the oven with the oven off. 
Okay. Put a little bit of olive oil on your hand. We'll take that right off. Nothing better than homemade pizza. Okay, put it around the edges. <laughs> Don't do what Michelle does. Okay. See how when you have that olive oil, it doesn't stick anymore. So you just get a couple. Round it up into a ball. I don't have enough counter space here. <laughs> okay. I am coming. I told you I gotta get the dough ready. I can't leave the dough. Oh, I'm standing here waiting for them. Are they all in? Yeah, they're all in the damn yard. Okay, watch then. I'll be out in a minute. Trying to do a million things at once. Okay, we're just gonna cover that up and put it in the oven till we come back in after going to see the girls. Oh. Okay, we got the chicken run all cleaned, and Pete's grating the cheese. Is it coming out the right way? You gotta add more, add more, other, add another piece. I got another brick of cheese here. It's okay, add another piece on top of that. Then you'll push that through. And yeah, I got the bacon going. Teamwork. Fun. <laughs> okay, so I got the bacon, bacon cooked. Nate got the cheese shredded. I got the pepperoni cut. These are, these are peppers from our garden. I'm gonna cut these up and put them on the pizza too. Now, now when we want a pizza, it'll be in the freezer. And this way, too, when it's fall and we want to, I just want to enjoy the colors, you know. I could grab something homemade, cooked in the freezer. Yeah. There's not too many seeds in these. Just going to go. Cut them up. Some of them cut a little thinner. Yeah. I'll be back. Let's see how if the pizza rolls. Rose. Let the pizza rise. Oh yeah, she rose. Okay, I'll be back. We finished cutting these first. Okay. <laughs> Let's not talk about that, okay? We can fix it. <laughs> Oh. Okay. <laughs> they really tape them together, don't they? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I'll start with three. And then we'll go from there. Mm. 
Oh, for goodness sakes. Whose idea was this? Are you serious? Okay. These two over here. Just in case. I'm going to spray them. I'll do three just to be. Let's see how far we get. Okay, I'm gonna get my thing out. If you see a spider, tell me. I seen a spider earlier and I lost it. <laughs> if you see a spider, scream, Spider Michelle! <laughs> okay. Well, you're going to be real sticky today, aren't you? Aren't you, do? Yeah. Gonna be real sticky on me today, eh? Just to prove your point. Hey, Mom. Hey. Can you give me that scraper? Is it over there? No, no, the scraper I gave you for the cheese. Oh, I'll put that right there. I'll put that on there. I washed it. You washed it? I don't know where you, I don't know where you put it. Where is it? Oh, here it is. Is it wet? It should be fun. Okay, I see how... How many I can get out of here? Well, I think I can get four. Four pizzas. Love you, Nate. Just gonna roll it out a bit. Oh yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go spread these pizzas out and I will be back when I get them all spread spread out. Just gotta play with it. more flour too. Okay, first one. <sighs> it's home
homemade is a lot of work, but it's worth it, you guys. It's worth it. You'll know the difference if you keep making homemade and then you buy something already processed. You'll know the difference. Okay, first, a little bit of cheese. Oh, I didn't want to spill anything. And if you try this cheese I showed you that I, I got at No Frills, if you try this and you make pizza, you won't ever go back to that cheap mozzarella pizza. Uh, cheese. No. Okay, so I took a little bit of the uh, sausage and ground beef out today of the before I put it in the sauce. And I'm just going to sprinkle this on this one. I put some barbecue sauce on it. And Bruce informed me that, oh, we're having a barbecue today. I forgot. So I really didn't have to make his lunch, but now it's made for a couple days. And uh, uh, I got to eat what I'm going to eat what I want for dinner. And I think I'm going to have eggs and toast. <laughs> that sounds good. That always sounds good. Yeah. He forgot. Yeah. Okay. And then we're going to go with some bacon. Pepperoni peppers. How does that look, you guys? Now, I'm going to freeze these like, just like this until tomorrow. And then I will cover them up. But uh, for tonight, I'm going to put them in like this so they nothing sticks to it and it, they freeze solid. Okay. One's done. Going in the freezer. Okay, second one. It will be gonna, mine. Yeah, this one will be for you. Do you, what do you want on it? That's awesome cheese, as usual. And uh, what do you got? Pepperoni, bacon. Yeah. Uh, just do pepperoni, probably, and the other one could be bacon. Just bacon or pepperoni and bacon? Well, both, actually. Yeah, I guess we. Okay, so both. do one pepperoni. Yep. And then one bacon and pepperoni? Yeah, that's good. That'll be fine. Okay. Okay. This one's going to be just pepperoni. We have to run to town tomorrow. I have to get... Uh, Lasagna noodles. What else do I need? Oh, some tomato paste. I am not making tomato paste. Uh-uh. <laughs> 
Okay. These look really good. Yeah. Hopefully I have enough cheese shredded so I can just come home and put the lasagna together. We do a very simple lasagna. We don't, I don't put all kinds of junk in it. Sauce, meat, and cheese. I don't put cottage cheese or anything like that. Okay, this one's going in the uh, fridge. Or the freezer. There we go. Okay. Next, he said, uh, you'll love my dough if you try it. I'll leave it, try to remember to leave it in the comments. I might forget, so somebody will remind me, though. <laughs> this is easy pizza dough, I tell you. The new guys can make some pizzas for your freezer. You get these at the dollar store. These pizza pans. Right? Just a little more sauce. Oh, I should get... I should be working at Little Caesars, shouldn't I? <laughs> I think I'll keep my YouTube job. <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Bacon and pepperoni. Don't be chintzy like those frozen pizzas you buy at the store. <laughs> okay, that one's going in the freezer.
It'd be nice just to take this out and throw it in the oven or on the barbecue. Yeah. Okay. Cheese. This is going to have bacon. There's just a couple pieces here. Pepperoni left. Okay. I will have to probably shred more cheese tomorrow. I didn't think I'd have to, but I think I will have to. all of these on. That's it. I should get a picture of them all. I'll wait till they freeze more. Okay. That's how you do freezer cooking. Homemade pizzas. Number one. More, more freezer meals coming. I got all the mess cleaned up. I'm making some dippy eggs with toast and peanut butter. Oh, it's going to be so good. I'll show you when I get it fixed. And, uh, yeah, I'm going to go sit down and have a big glass of chocolate milk with it. Look at my dinner, you guys. I'm excited. I got dippy eggs with dippy fingers and some peanut butter and blackberry jam. I'm telling you, that is the best jam we have. Yes, we made it. I made it on the weekend. Oh. Careful, Nate. Say goodnight. Good night. He's fixing my door for me. Thank you, Nate.